Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey, Everybody, how are you? I screwed up the whole beginning of the show and we had to start it all over again. Right? Three times. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So anyway, uh, the third time's the charm, though. Uh, and it must be the truth. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. You got to see who's talking. That's her. That's 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 the uh, that's Marjorie Miller, ladies and gentlemen. It's Friday. She never took the Friday. name. She never took the name Bennett. She never took the name Schwarzman. Would you? Wait a minute. T- 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 you're over <laughs> Would modulating. you? You're over modulating. M N is graphically very pleasing with a nice L in the middle. Graphically, it y- looks nice. Yeah. Well, how about an M B? Uh, no. no, no how no, about no, M S? No. <laughs> No, no, no. You, you M like M with a nice L in the middle. With Perfect. a nice L in the middle. Would you move your hat up a little bit no. so they can see your face? There we go. Why shouldn't they see that beautiful, lovely face that oh, I yeah. that I adore? Mm. Here what, we go. What do you mean? Here we go. I I, well, I screwed up the whole beginning of the show. I'm sure folks. glad it wasn't me. But I don't care. I don't care if the sun care. don't shine. No, I gotta, I Get gotta, my love. I gotta go up here and time. see all these. With my baby. Let me see here. I don't know which one of these files is the file that's now recording. Doesn't matter. <laughs> huh? Doesn't 20, matter. 2204, <laughs> Okay, that one. Okay, delete. Okay, and delete. Okay, there we go. Now I'm recording. Uh, that one is the one that is currently. Uh, it, it, I started 2209. 12, yeah, 22, 9, 12, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Uh, anyway, so, how, how are you this I'm evening? I'm fine. Here. See, I, I screwed up. I know, three screwed times. Up real badly. Three times. Well, I don't know, I guess I'm getting so tired of doing this. I'm just I glad I, it first wasn't I, me. First, I didn't start the stream, but I did start the recording, you know. And then I started, oh, then it's it just all screwed up. Just been one of those days. Just one of those, just one of those, those days. days. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, well, my morning was fucked up. Your, really mor- your morning was fucked oh up? Oh, my God. Didn't fuck up as badly as I just did. I pretty much did it, okay? Mm-hmm. It's pouring rain, and I'm having a shot in my spine, which I get like three times oh, a year. Oh, here we go, old lady Well, stuff. no, 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 no. So I go to the office. And I do some stuff, and I yeah. figure I get there at 6 in the morning, and I left about 8.30, figuring I have yeah. to be there. At, they said, come 15 minutes early, come at 9.15. Mm-hmm. It's pouring rain. And by mistake, I went to Union Square, and I had to take the train up to 23rd Street mm-hmm. because the, um, the place is on 22nd and 2nd Avenue. And it's pouring, and I'm looking for a bus. So finally a bus comes, Mm -hmm. and there's so much traffic that the bus isn't moving. So I got out of the bus and walked, okay? (laughs) And my back is killing me. Mm -hmm. I get there, and you have to walk all the way around inside this building. I finally got to the the floor, the 10th floor. I finally got to the office. They said, no, Miss Miller, you're not getting the shot today. You're getting it next week. I don't know how that happened. Oh, I know how it happened. Uh, it happened with the, with me with, with, this with the calendar. Happened, this happens to you a lot lately. With the calendar. No, but what do you mean with the calendar? Well, you think you're writing something and you're putting it on a certain date, and and it's and and it, and it goes on a different date. Could and it be I you're just losing it. your fucking mind. No, I just didn't check it. So then when I looked at it, like a couple of weeks later, I see well, it's on for Friday, not knowing that I made the mistake. Really? So after that, mm-hmm. I decided I'm not going back to the office. So I took a train up to my favorite place that makes coffee and breads and croissants all homemade. Mm-hmm. And I had myself two chocolate croissants and this wonderful coffee that they make. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, good. It's an African um, restaurant. Yeah. And it's a bakery. 
Yeah. And they have a menu, and it's so good. Huh. Yeah. Well, that's it's terrific. I would go there in the morning, but they don't open till late. Yeah. So I go to Starbucks. Yeah. All right. So that was my morning. That's interesting. It was horrible. Yeah. And the pouring rain, everything. And it mm -hmm. was just a miserable day that you did not want to be outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy well yeah. anyway yeah well my day was just nothing well you were here most of the day you came yeah. home after that i came home about 11 by the time i finished my coffee and yeah yeah you can't allow me to have one day here by myself you have every day here by yourself because i'm out of here you're still sleeping yeah well i i had a complete wasted day snyder calls me every <laughs> every Friday at 1.15 in the afternoon to record his little movie reviews, which, between you and me, you know, doesn't add any real value to... You're hearing that, to, Michael? ...to Gabnet. I'm saying that. I've, I've said this to him before. It doesn't really... You know, if he weren't here, there wouldn't be anybody who would ask me, where is it? Okay? In fact, a new one hasn't been posted, and nobody's asking, where is it? <laughs> My point is made. The new one hasn't even been But I do, it for, I do it for Michael so that he has something he can point to and say, see, I do these reviews so that he can keep his credentials as a reviewer. So I do it for him for that. Otherwise, I have no reason to ruin my Fridays at 1.15. Well, it doesn't have to be 1.15. You set that up. Yeah, but I could make it 4 o'clock or I could make it 10 in the morning. But either way, it's a pain in the fucking ass. Make it revolve around your schedule, not his. Well, I don't have it around my schedule. But well, it, 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 it doesn't matter. Do. I don't have a schedule. You don't realize I don't have a schedule. But Friday's a bad day for me because it's a day I kind of like to get some stuff done, you know, or go do stuff and whatever. So he, anyway, 1.15, he calls me is what happens. No you sent him an email. No call. No call. Well, the night before, he writes me and says, uh, uh, 115, blah, 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 blah. I'll blah. call you, okay? 120. 125. 130. Finally, at 140, I just wrote him and said, Forget it. Forget it. I'm going out. I got things to do. Because I, I was planning after I got through with him. I have an active life. Well, I wanted to go work out. Absolutely. And as well, you should. I'm so proud of you. Really? Yeah. I'm so tired of that. It's such a waste of fucking time. I mean, you're sitting waste. there on this little bicycle pedaling and going nowhere. Take a class. I, they, they don't have classes there. No? No. This is, this is your... Bare, your bare bones gym. This is my $15 a month gym. What do you expect? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, they're going to have the spin classes. So I better <laughs> sign up for them. <laughs> What, on the one bike they have? I'm taking spin tomorrow. How many bikes are there in the room where in you the do the spin, spin class? In the spin class, there's 40 bikes. 40 bikes? Right, but that's just the spin class. Then there's regular bikes near where the treadmills and are. And how many bikes are there? A dozen, maybe. Oh, really? We yeah. got about six. <laughs> well, out of all the Equinoxes in New York, this is, there's two that are the heavy popular. And you bike. pay how much? A it's, it's it's more than you pay. It's two thousand dollars a year, isn't Something it? Something like that. Twenty five hundred dollars a year. Whatever. I'm I'm in you that don't area. You have to discuss money. Well, with else. me, it's a uh, dollar uh, fifty. Well, it's it's actually it's a hundred eighty dollars a year. <laughs> uh, now, considering that for three years I've been paying them and not going there, so I'm I'm making up for it now because I've been going there almost every day. But today I wanted to go there because I don't want to go there tomorrow or maybe Sunday. Take a rest. You, you know, need I need a rest. Your, your body needs to rest. How much my tooth is bothering me? Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, and I'm worried about my PSA uh -huh. test. And uh, well, these are all the things Enough. she hears at home of me, from me. Anyway. Non-stop. Anyway, what was I saying? So anyway, I have no idea. So anyway, so then he calls me finally and he says, uh, my internet was out. So why didn't you call me? I don't get a phone signal where I live. I don't know of anybody who's got telephones, you know, cell phone that they can travel any they can go under a rock in Arizona you can and go you can, New, New and York you, subway and you can get a signal. Yeah, New York subway. Or you know what you could have done if it was really that bad and you knew I was sitting there waiting for you. And now it's getting to be like one thirty. 
you could get in your car and maybe go down the hill where there is a signal and call me. <laughs> so finally, he, I, I hear from him. Well, you sent him an email. No, I sent him an email. I sent him a text. I sent him all kinds of things. didn't get anything back from him. So, I, I mean, I figure something's wrong, but then he finally calls me and I said, look, you know, I got other things to do. I, I, I got, have a life. I have things I have to get done. And he says, so should we forget it? And I said, yeah, let's forget it. And so if you're looking for the movie reviews, <laughs> uh, that's why they're not there. And please don't write me because I don't want to have to deal with all the emails I get <laughs> about the movie reviews not being there. Posted. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, because we do put them up on the page. You, you do. know, they're in the uh, on-demand thing. I have no idea. And I schedule them in a way so it's always at the top until Tuesday, oh. so that people can listen to the movie reviews and say, "Ooh, what movie should I see? What was that? Oh, he recommended a French film." <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Do yeah. you talk about television programs? Cause yeah, been, we do that. There's been a lot of good TV lately. Like what? Well, we just finished watching Greed. Was it Greed? Greed. Oh, it, oh um, uh, 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 Fault. Uh, 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 <laughs> money. <laughs> money. Uh, it uh, was. Uh, um, like, like Greed. A word like you know, it's, it, <laughs> it's cash. It was, it's it was a series about the, the Getty family. The Getty it family. It was great. Hold on. Trust. A trust about the Getty family and about uh, the Getty kid getting his ear it was, cut off. It was very really good. good. It was done yeah. by, it was, well, it was produced by Danny Boyle and, and he, he directed, directed the first three episodes. It was very, very good. And it was terrific. And uh, we are now going to sit down and watch the movie, movie version. Which everyone says is not as good as the television. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how can, well, I mean, the, the television version was just so multi-layered. And, so. and it was photographed. I mean, it was just... It was shot all in, in, in Italy, Italy and in and London. London. It was beautiful. It was terrific. Donald Sutherland plays an evil guy that... J. Just, Paul Getty. Yeah, brilliant. Just a brilliant... Yeah. And uh, what's his name? Um, oh, the actor... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Christopher Plummer. Well, no, 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 no. Oh. no. I'm talking about the... He, the guy who plays the detective in this. Uh, oh, uh, from Friends. No, he isn't from Friends. He was on no, Friends. No, 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 no. He was never in Friends. No. Um, yes, he was. I'm trying to remember his name now. He was on Wait Friends. Minute, hold on a second. I'll just look up the show. It's he was on easy. Friends. He wasn't on Friends. Do you hear the way he talks to me? I, he wasn't on Friends. Do you hear what I have to go I'm through? I'm telling you, he wasn't on Friends. Brendan listen? Frazier is right. the guy I'm trying to think of. No, he was never on Friends. Who were the two guys? Anybody uh, in our chat two? room, was he in Friends? Who were the two guys in Friends? I don't know. I never watched that fucking I never show. Did I, I never he liked it. was one it. of them. I never liked it. But he was one of them. You know. Uh, gee, let's bring back Friends. <laughs> They, they was doing this like the Roseanne thing was successful. They said, "What can we bring back next?" Oh, uh, let's bring back my mother, the car, you know, with the original cast. Oh, wait a minute, Ann Southern's dead. Well, let's get her daughter. You know, <laughs> television is now. I want to. I want to. As long as we're talking about this, so Roseanne says what she says in a tweet, and I believe she was totally sincere when she apologized. The reason she was, of course, apologizing is because she lost her job. Because she no, before she lost her job, she she got she did the retraction minutes later. Okay, um, uh, but it, it was just a career burner, right? So uh, the president of the United States, whatever his name is, Trump, uh, he comes up with this whole thing I'm about Trump. well, you you dumped Roseanne. But you didn't dump Samantha B because she called my uh, daughter. daughter. Well, what she called her was, and I can say it here, a cunt. Well, no, she called her a bleep. Was she, no, she actually called her a um, uh, uh, what, what, what is the term Freaking again? Cunt. No, the first uh, the first part of the term. Freaking. Hold on a second. I have to look at my thing for today because it's the subtitle. A feckless cunt is what she called her. Feckless cunt, uh, and uh, but but she didn't call her a feckless cunt because if you she called her a bleep 
That's right. Because if you go and watch the show, which I decided I would, I would, uh, I got a hold of the show, and downloaded it. Okay, uh, and it was uh, a subtitled version of the show. Okay, that had had uh, subtitles, and um, I went to that part of the show, and sure enough, there she was saying, "Feckless." And then there's a beep. Now, I'm going to prove it to you because what I'm saying is, what's the big deal, Donald? She never said the word. The word cunt. was bleeped. And she never called your daughter a cunt. She even says before the show, they knew that if they used that word, they would then have to bleep it out. But they wanted to use the word because it would make the audience laugh and they would say, oh, some, she said something, you know. And so after the fact and so it never got on the air and to prove to you it never got on the air here is the subtitle there's Samantha B and there is the subtitle uh, about your I can't, I can't read it from this from this distance uh, from, uh, uh, about your dad's immigration practices uh, or talk to him about your immigration tactics you feckless, and then it says beep. beep. So it, on the, you know, if she said beep. She didn't, it, they beeped it out. It, there was no way it got on the air. What is everybody making a big deal about? Plus, in my opinion, Ivanka is a cunt. So, you know, I mean, what the hell? What can you do about it? So anyway, that was that was the big thing, and you know, I, I watched this. The horrible part about it is I had to watch Samantha B's show. Well, it's and and so I kept she's good. I kept waiting for it to get funny, and it never did. Well, she's she's, she's not, she, you know, she's she's just not very good at doing that show. Now I know there are some people who think she's wonderful. I think Amy thinks she's wonderful. And uh, she she's sucks. better on a sitcom. sitcom. Well, she, no, she not on a sitcom. She was better on the Daily Show, she was where she very had, good had set pieces yeah. to go out and do. But the show was terrible. But you know, for her to get all this flack over something which was, they knew they were going to have to beep it. They knew they weren't going to be able to so use the word. So who figured out that the word was? Cut? I don't know. There's some. The office, uh, they some, didn't. The, they didn't. The uh, they didn't bleep her mouth moving. Right. So there was probably some. Uh, you Dead know, person. lip reader who said, oh, she just said cunt. Well, she could have said can't. <laughs> or you feckless. Well, anyway, the pe fact of the matter is uh, the reason why she isn't going to get fired, uh, Donald, let me explain this to you, is what Roseanne did was off the grid. This was not, she did not call uh, Jarrett. What's her first name? Uh, yeah. Jarrett. Uh, uh, whatever she called her in that tweet, she didn't do that on the Roseanne show, okay? She didn't call somebody some name on the Roseanne show. She did that off the grid, off hours, on her tweet, all right? The difference was, Samantha B. it was part of the program, and it was beeped because it was part of the program. So, you know, to say, oh, well, what, what, what makes her so different? Well, what makes her different is she was doing a comedy show. She was making a political statement. She never said it. They and she, it. and more than that, you f f feckless piece of shit. She never said it. That's right. You know. So what are you? What are you getting your your your? Well, your alleged balls in an uproar. I think it's you know. time. For no, me it's to not me. time yet. Just go over, and I don't want to have to push you with my feet anymore. One of these days, I'm going to push you, and they're going to see you just go flying out the window. Yeah. There's a story about the dog hmm? with Truman Capote and the dog. Yeah, well, I've told that story before. But my tooth just feels... Alex. Yeah. It's the weather, isn't it? Yeah. You're getting your period. I'm getting my period? Yeah, well, you wish. <laughs> you know. When, when was your, when's the last time you had a period? A long time ago. I mean, what's a long time ago? A while. You should be closer to your mic. A while. A while. A while. I mean, like a while, a while. Whatever. I mean, like, did you did you stop doing that early? Yeah. What do they say? If you start early, if you, you if you get your period late, you lose it early, and I got it late. 
Oh, and you lost it early. Oh, yeah. So you so you have this small window of opportunity. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Of course, you can't you can't have a postmenopausal. No, kid. you're either premenopausal or menopausal. Well, uh, you can, that, okay. You can, you're, so you're menopausal, or, oh, of course. For the she rest is. of your life. Take it from my. Take it from me. She's. <laughs> She is menopausal. You have it for the rest of your life. But you, be, you go from pre to definite. So you were menopausal. Postmenopausal. Post, post, yeah. postmenopausal. It never leaves. But you can have a baby postmenopausal. I can't. I, I, they name a religion friend, about it. My friend Dana Gould uh, said that he was a menopausal baby. Well, because when, you're, when, when you're, your, your periods start to get very sketchy, yeah, and you don't get them every month. But you it get doesn't them every mean you can't. Months. It doesn't mean you can't get pregnant during that period when you know when you're still getting your period, but it's it's not regular. Yeah, and then at some point it just stops. Yeah, and then but can you still get pregnant? No, once it stops. Are you sure? Still, yeah, because you're not ovulating. I don't know. Really? You've run out of eggs. Uh, well, anyway, okay. So you uh, you 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 want to come over here, it's right? It's time. You want to come over here. All right, come over here. Let me just open up the panel here and get rid of this. Oh, oh don't. Dude, you just ran over my foot. I'm sorry. Jeez almighty. Let me see here. Where do we go? We go to Skype. There we go. Okay, and then I got to turn Skype on. And watch, just like last night, nobody will call. Can we turn this? What? I, yes, uh, nobody will call. Watch. You better, because I want to go to sleep. No, nobody's going to call tonight. Uh, there, because there's some kind of like there's some kind of like oh, there's the playoffs. There's some kind of what play what playoffs are these? The basketball playoffs. The, what bas is what? the championship playoffs? The championship. Yeah. Who's playing? Cleveland and the Warriors. How do you know this? Because I love basketball. I just you, don't watch you, it with you. you, you get it. Come in a little. You're closer. a bore. Uh, you, what? You're bored. You won't watch it with oh, me. I mean, I of course I won't watch it I with you. I watch tennis by myself. I don't want to see a bunch of guys dribbling. If I want to see a bunch of guys dribbling, I'll look at my citizen's <laughs> panel. <laughs> look in the mirror. <laughs> anyway, see? Nobody's calling. They will. I told you. No, they're not going to. So uh, you're going to have to stay here till they do. Oh, God. <laughs> what a punishment. Yeah, what a punishment. So, um, where's Phil when you need him? Huh? Is it a feel free night? No, it's not a feel free night. So, feel free to call. Feel free to call. Feel yeah. free, Phil. No, Phil? It, isn't, it isn't a feel free night. So, Phil, I don't want to free, get people's hopes free. up. Oh, oh, Ray, here, here, come, like here Ray. comes Ray Renati. Ray okay. Renati is the first one in tonight. All right, Ray. Hello, Ray. How ah, are you? Look who's calling oh, now. Oh, there he is. There and, he is. Uh, let me, Jeff Stein is calling. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Um, uh, is there any way you can turn your phone sideways so we can get a more panoramic <laughs> view of you in the car? There oh, you go. There we go. There you go. What happened to Jeff? There well, he is. Jeff. Doesn't work through my head. Huh? What? No, your head. We can see your uh, whole head. No, no, no. But we can't hear him. Is what he's oh, saying. Oh, oh. Um. Are you talking? And it just. <laughs> it, oh, okay. There we are. We can hear him, but he, he, you're freezing every you're now. You're freezing and then. every now and then. But you're in, uh, you're, well, you're, in, you're, in, you're in motion, so <laughs> that that's the reason why. On the other hand, Jeff looks terrific because he's still. And he's got that nice trim beard. Yes, yes. Really nice. Alex tried to copy it, but it didn't work. I tried to grow the beard, and it I, just I didn't gave up. Work. I gave up. Well, it was no, too spotty. Here, it's all here, these holes. Here it was fine. But on, on this side, this it was side, all these was, holes. Yeah, like got uh, really bad. Let's see here. Add uh, add uh, uh, Phil to the group calls. Ah, Hello. there he is. Hello, okay, Phil. Hey, Phil. Hey, uh, hey, where's that Michael Schneider show? To, uh, <laughs> <laughs> We missed that. Yeah. You know, I yeah. mean, that's the only show I listen to. Yeah, I missed that. I need that. You wanted to hear about that new French film, did you? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, everybody's yeah. checking. In, uh, German subtitles. Yes, the, one, the French film with the German subtitles. Yeah, exactly. Hey, look, there's Kevin. Now it works. Oh, wow. now, now your phone, now your audio that's works. That's a voice. Yeah. So let's see. We got uh, we got uh, Ray in a car. 
What's that noise? And Kevin, the sun is going down wherever you are. It's a, you're, you're getting that yes, wonderful light Ray, coming through your window. Ray's road noise is taking over. Uh, oh, I can I can uh, mute it. Yeah. Okay. Mute it, and when you want to talk, That's uh, j just unmute it, okay? Yeah, okay, all right. All right. See, when he talks, we don't have that trouble, but when he, we don't, then it sucks the sound out, you know. Right. When you were talking, uh, you could barely hear you over the road noise. No. Oh. Look at that great microphone. The, the gold microphone. Yeah, that's Kevin nice, has. Kevin. Yes. Now, isn't that the one that uh, the EIB network sells? I doubt it. <laughs> as far as uh, microphone, I think is gold. It looks so official. Huh? Not like yours. I mean, what's wrong with my microphone? Well, that one just looks so official. It looks. Phil yeah, has one like is, that. This is uh, the reason I use this microphone. Is this the one I use with the TV show? And I like the way it sounded. It made my voice sound. Ah. I, the reason you use that microphone is you got it for free. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I bought this one. The <laughs> other one I got for free. The one she <laughs> uses. All right. Yeah. I get all the hand-me-downs. Yeah, I know how it feels. <laughs> this is an AKG, and it's they're very good mics, you know. And of course, then there's that little mic I've got that I've had since I was in high school. You're sure? Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, um, what was it? It was a uh, electro voice. Electro voice. Uh, electro voice? I thought it was a sure. No, it's electro voice. Uh, yeah, in fact, it, it, came on. It, that's uh, Vernon Nunn. Hey, Vernon. Hello, Vernon. Here we go. There we go. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. love it. I love it. See? <laughs> He's the king of the microphones. He is. He's the best. And he also has, we'll you know, his... D104 there? His, his talent is... No, this is a USB mic here. Oh, uh, okay. Is not to be, his talent is not to be denied. It's really terrific. Uh, so, uh, how are you doing tonight, Vernon? Yeah, well, my Cardinals won in the regional championship baseball out at uh, Texas Tech tonight, thirteen to six. Yeah, so I'm really happy. Uh, what what team is that again? Little Cardinals baseball. The Cardinals. Okay. Yeah. Now you you live where again? Look, I live in Louisville. You live in Louisville, but the Cardinals yep. are from what town? The the University of Louisville Cardinals. Oh oh, I see. Ah. Okay, all right. And is that basketball? No, no it's base baseball. Well, I don't know. I don't know. It's any baseball of this. right now. Go it's get baseball right now. Go get my sports <laughs> Emmy. <laughs> Do you believe that? <laughs> yeah, where's that sports Emmy? I yeah, say. I had it on my uh, little um, uh, news show yesterday. I actually brought it in here, and because I had a sports item, and I said I want to do sports so I can keep my Emmy. You know, every year I have yeah, to do at least that. one sports story in order to keep my sports Emmy. <laughs> so, whatever. Anyway, uh, so how are all you guys feeling tonight? Uh, Kevin, how have you been? Kevin? Yeah, busy. Busy? Busy doing what? In the, in the school, kid stuff. Oh, what you? Oh, a, lot of, a lot of concerts and graduations. And oh, all and, that and stuff. lots of lots of parents with their iPhones taking pictures of their kids playing a cello, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And holding uh, the phone the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I yelled at one. Turn it landscape, you dork. <laughs> Why are you doing? Does that bother you too when they don't do landscape? Oh, it irritates the crap out of me. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, like uh, uh, Ray tonight started in in uh, portrait mode, and we had him go to landscape. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But that's it drives the, me crazy. Well, I, that's I, because I was, I was, I was looking at my, uh, my GPS. But I, I hate, I hate driving. Mode. I hate it. You hate what? Yeah. You, portrait mode. I you, hate it. Yeah. 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 And, and the I, thing is that all these people who send videos into TV stations that they use or something, yeah. it's always in portrait of mode. Fire people, or... turn your cameras sideways. That's yeah. the way your television is. Haven't you noticed that? And then they have to that? put those borders on the side right. and they're all fuzzy on the side. Right. Like, yeah. Why do you do that? Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> Guess who's joined us tonight because uh, his wife let him out. Uh, Jason, <laughs> how are you? It's, hey, how's it going? Yeah, and here comes Patrick. Oh, boy, this is not like last night. It's a Ten, early full house here. here. Tonight, it's, 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 close. it's moving close to a full house. Hello, What's Patrick. a full house? What's oh, a full house? Patrick, by the way, has been given a bad time today on, on my Facebook page because he made a comment about uh, Samantha B. And um, 
Uh, what was that comment you made? Uh, do you remember it exactly? And I, I can look it up here. Oh, you have to look it up to read it. Yeah. Yeah, and the only reason I did it is because if it's becoming so acceptable to body shame and talk shit about people, then I think that what I said is absolutely acceptable and should be revered as just normal everyday conversation. Yes, and what did you and what was it you wrote exactly? I did what I wrote and I wrote part of it was how you said last night. Yeah. You you sincerely wanted to say so I used that and I said I would like to say with the utmost sincerity that this has obviously become acceptable to the mean folk that we don't like and I think that Samantha B is a low rent ratchet cunt who couldn't <laughs> lure a prison lifer to touch her. <laughs> well, you're picking up on Brian's stuff, are you? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it, yeah. Part of it that the other thing is, you know, neither party want to be the, the grown up and say just because this one said this doesn't mean that we have to come back and be just as vile. Exactly. So I just fuck it. If, if we're going to talk shit about mm -hmm. Sarah Sanders, we're going to yeah. fire Roseanne, we're going to do all this bullshit. Samantha yeah. B can suck my cock, but I wouldn't let her. So. <laughs> okay, well, see, and I said that, uh, you know, um, Ivanka was a uh, cunt. Yes, Jason has his hand up. So I, I'm just curious, though, Patrick, what did you say about Roseanne? Well, I think what she said was absolutely important. There was absolutely no excuse for what she said. Yeah, but, you know, it, it was dumb what she said. No, but she shouldn't you know, have been fired. That was what she said on her own personal oh, time. Ro Roseanne? And the same thing with Samantha B. I think, it, you know, everybody's just becoming too much of fucking pussies about all the stupid shit. Just, you know, if you don't like some, somebody, say what you fucking want and move on. You don't have to fucking lose your job over a stupid little shit at all the time I, anymore. I agree with you, but that was my point with this. Is everybody is becoming this, so... I just joined in and I said, well, if, if Samantha B is being given a pass, then everybody should say what I said was great because, you know, freedom of speech and that. But, you know, really, I look at Roseanne is the same as Colin Kaepernick in that um, there's a job and if the boss feels that you've violated something, well, then fuck it, go for it. You know, it's so, so out of control with everything that there, there's no logic anymore. Well, I mean, we're, we're, we're going a little insane over this thing. I mean, when I think about it, I think about, well, should Roseanne have gotten fired? And and I did say to myself, well, she did apologize. And, and before anybody really got on her case, I mean, I think it was minutes later after she posted the thing and realized she had pushed push, push send on something which could come back to bite her in the ass. No, but it's been it's been proven though that she has a history. No, of no, but that that but that, then ABC. Of taking Ambien. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then ABC shouldn't have suddenly become so righteous they because... They didn't vet her. They should have no, vetted her. What do you mean vet her? They knew what she was. Well, they should have taken care... They should you have know, not, yeah. uh, the, uh, This is... The, what this whole thing with Roseanne was this week was uh, ABC trying to save their asses, okay? And by firing her, they were saving their asses. Under normal conditions, she probably should have been reprimanded. She should have apologized. Then it was... We get on with the show in the fall, you know? Yes, uh, Patrick. And that's exactly it. Is it if the show's not going to come back for another, what, three, four, five months, and in that time, that's when she could be doing her apology tour. But it would be the same as if NBC hired uh, Howard Stern or some shit, and then was all of a sudden surprised that he's vulgar. They yeah. were. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no. You're I think they were surprised that he wasn't vulgar. <laughs> you know, but I mean, I I just always found it. Uh, I I just found it amazing to me. And I said this before about ABC. You know, it, ABC didn't get rid of her because they like black people. You know, they like green money is what they like. 
Mm-hmm. And and so I you know if I felt that they were doing it because they really were being wonderfully liberal and and wanting to help uh, uh, black people everywhere and were upset by this, but that's what I'm sure that discussion never went on at ABC. It was well she's gone over the line and this show isn't going to be able to get sponsors next year. We got to dump her. Yes, Kevin. Well, uh, that's the point. Is that we don't know what went on before. They did say that they had been watching her. And she could have been walking the line already. And there's a possibility, we don't know, that she'd already been warned, watch yourself. If you screw up, you could be busted. And she may have just walked that line and screwed up. And she got busted. Cool. Uh, yeah. that's, the possib- that's possibly what happened. I don't know that. We don't right. know that. But, you know, it's also the money. There's no doubt yeah. about it. Ray has his hand up, and I, I, I want to be, go to him because if he has to keep moving his hand up while driving, that could be dangerous. <laughs> and then we go to then we go to Phil. Just don't want officer and, and then, then to uh, yeah. and then we go to Phil uh, with the, with his minstrel glove on. <laughs> uh, on YouTube, there's a one of the news organizations interviewed Tom Arnold about this. I, he had a lot of really good insights. Yeah. Uh, um, he basically said, you know, she's 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 nuts. She's on a lot of drugs, and he wouldn't be surprised if she was actually trying to tank the show because she didn't really feel like doing it. And she probably was warned over a lot of bad behavior before this, and this was like the final straw. Um, he said it's just like her personality, and it didn't surprise him at all. Um, and he was really feeling like she probably didn't want to do the show, and. Uh, and and that had a lot to do with it. Yeah. I just wanted to get a chance to listen to a really good interview. Did you hear the latest? I'll pl- mute myself. Yeah. Did you hear the latest plan that ABC has, or at least this is being floated around, is yeah. that they're going to do a uh, kill her we, off? Well, no, no. They're going to we, well, they're going to kill her off, but they're going to do a show, and they're going to have the daughter who plays Darlene be the lead character, and it's yeah. just going to be the Connor family, and that Lena Dunham has offered to write it and uh, be the creative person behind it. I think that's a bad idea. I would keep the writers who are there right now because I gotta tell you, the show I was watching was very well written and very well conceived. And if those people just continue to do what they were doing, it'd be terrific. Jason? And with that, I'm saying good night. Good night, good night, night everyone. Good night, girlfriend. Good night, night. Good night. night. Hey, so boy, who's the, the boy, boy, am I glad in, uh, she's gone. Misery? I'm what? <laughs> I haven't left yet. <laughs> what? What did you say, Jason? There was the actress in Misery, and she also Kathy Bates. Just did Disjointed. Kath- uh, Kathy Bates. Uh, yeah. Kathy yeah, Bates. She, Bates. She on uh, Disjointed, when I was watching that on uh, Netflix, I believe it's her. Yeah. Um funny as hell maybe they should just you know get over the thing of you know you have an actor or actress who ain't fitting right replace them you know just like they used to do back in the day oh you, you're, you're saying roseanne. okay here's a new roseanne it's a little harder yep. to do in this particular case nah, you know, because, no because because just the roseanne character was so uh immutably attached to roseanne Barr that to say it's, here here's the part of roseanne will now be played by you know kathy bates uh uh-uh. uh. No one would want to ta- watch Disjointed. I think you would be like, hmm, maybe that is a good idea. No, no, funny I, as hell. I watched Disjointed. And I didn't like it. Oh, dude, whatever. You, you're not a no, smoker. No, well, no, <laughs> no. I, you know, I wanted to like it because it's done by Chuck Lorre, who does the Two and a Half Men and does Big Bang Theory, and you know, so on. I, I thought the show was great. I was very disappointed. Well, I, I wanted to see it get better so it would succeed because I thought the idea was a solid idea. Yes, Patrick. The only good thing I see if they do uh, end up doing the uh, reboot with just with Darlene being their uh, lead, mm-hmm. it also people who would have lost their damn job or have, they'll at least have employment. Well, that for another yeah. season. That's why ABC C is thinking of doing it. Is yeah. is to save those jobs and kind of, you know if they want to look b- even better than they wanted to look by firing Roseanne, they would look better by reinstituting that show or up, you know, changing that show to the sequel or the uh, spin-off or whatever of Roseanne. But keep the same writers, keep the same mentality of what you were doing. Uh, F- Phil had his hand up there a second, Patrick. Uh, uh, this, this is a two-parter. Uh, 
One has to do with Roseanne, and the other has to do with uh, the pardons and oh, how the geez. connection is. And how well, the leave connection. it to you to change the subject. Uh, no, no, and no, it's, it's a two-parter. It's a two-parter. Huh? Uh, I, th I think that Roseanne might have uh, succumbed to uh, left-wing pressure in the media that they go after the oh, conservatives yeah. oh, in, oh. Uh, in, in the media oh, and in Hollywood. Oh, boy. Now, the reason, She's a, a secret leftist? No. Uh, <laughs> the reason why, well, yeah. But the reason why Trump has been pardoning the people that he's pardoning is that if you look at them as political prisoners from the left that uh, were jailed because they were conservatives, and therefore he's he is pardoning them the same way that uh, they free that they have political prisoners in Iran, North Korea, Russia, uh, and so uh, he is going after those that were in prison. I, I, wait, 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 Kevin's driving off into the ditch. Yeah, well, uh, Kevin, you're a, tr a professional driver. You shouldn't do that. But um, anyway, I just see a connection. You shouldn't here create between, the ditch. Yeah, the push for left wing uh, left wing media against conservatives in Hollywood, and I think that she is a victim uh -huh. of that. But if, so same, if so same liberals that are are giving uh, what's his name uh, Tim Allen his show back. Uh, well, they, they got rid of his show, and the only reason they're bringing it back is they saw the, the green uh, No, the, the, the Fox, Fox decided they wanted to take a chance on it, that they felt that it was a good show. Yeah. and that it, it Why was, was it canceled in the first place? It was getting good ratings. It was conservative in Hollywood. But no, that, that's bullshit. It has so they, nothing to do with conservative. They got rid of him to hire Roseanne? It's, it's not bullshit. And when the Roseanne they show... They got rid of him to hire Roseanne. Hit. Hey, when the Roseanne show came out and it was such a hit... Uh, every other network is going to jump. His show was already a hit. I am, it was a his show was a hit, but it was, I, I watch it every day. I'm probably the biggest lefty on this show right now. I loved his show. I thought he was. Yeah, I like watching hell. it too. I, I thought like, it was hilarious. I, I liked his shows too. The only thing is, uh, he was on at a time when there was. Yeah, uh, you know, you're saying saying the whole thing about lefties in in Hollywood. And that people are getting fired because the lefties run Hollywood. It's like those people used to say the Jews run Hollywood. Well, if the Jews the ran Hollywood, if, if, the Jew, the if, the Jews, if the Jews ran Hollywood, then I'd have uh, Clooney's a job. Okay? Yeah, well, that's uh, yeah, the third part of the question. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> yes, Patrick. You mean the Jews don't run Hollywood? Yeah, no, right? <laughs> no, now they're getting sucked up by me, too. So, with... Uh, with Roseanne getting back on the topic of that, um, there is there any chance of Wanda Sykes coming back and to, as a writer for that show? I'm sure. Uh, although I don't know that Wanda Sykes is that great a writer, to be honest with you. I, she was part of that. She wasn't group. a writer. She was a creative consultant. Oh, that's what she was. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then the other part. Along I Norm Macdonald was another one. Um, what did Wanda Sykes do with Larry David uh, on his show? Well, she was on. She was one of the characters on the show. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, the other thing I did want to uh, say is, if memory serves right, at the end of the final episode, mm -hmm. um, with her going into surgery, that would be a logical way for her to die. Would be on the table in surgery. Yeah. How about an overdose? <laughs> well, no. Yeah. Of pain Yeah, that'd be good, especially way it's going now. No, well, I, I think that, that that's not a bad idea, you know. Well, she went in for the operation on the knee, and somehow something she happened, still and she kept died. kept doing the drugs. And yeah. uh, how's your kid, Darlene? <laughs> you know? Right. I mean, it's been, it'll be enough month between, because she's going into surgery over the hiatus of the show until next season, so... <clears throat> It would make sense. I'll tell you a very funny story, and I know that uh, that Ray's going to love this story because this is a great one of the great show business stories. I can't remember what show it was. I think it might have been an old soap named Guiding Light, and they used to do these shows live every day out of New York. And um, they employed a lot of Broadway actors and and actresses through these shows because they lived in New York and they were th theater people. And um, so there was this person who had a, um, 
guy who had a role on the show, and it was a major role on the show. And um, they're they're doing the uh, they're doing a scene on an airplane, and it's in flight and it's going somewhere. Who knows where it was going? Doesn't matter. It's not important to the story. Uh, but the guy's a Broadway actor, and in, in, a, in a moment of, of panic, he went up on his lines, as they call it. If Ray, are you there, Ray? Can you hear us? I don't even know if he's there. Um, he went up on his lines. And what Broadway actors were used to doing if they went up on their lines, I'm here. What, what, yeah, what do you do, Ray, when you're on stage and you go up on your lines and you don't know what the next word in the script is what would be one of the logical okay, things what you, you do would do is well, well, here's what happens uh hopefully the other actters know what you're supposed to say next and sometimes people will just kind of whisper it to you okay or but they let's say, say that does, let's say, say let's say that doesn't happen what is what, what is your what last. is your last ditch effort then, th okay then you then you just you skip to the next section that you do know either that and then sometimes either that or uh -huh. you might walk off stage and quickly ask somebody what's the next line. Use an excuse while you're that walking happens once a, That happens once in a while. Yeah, yeah, well, what happened with this actor was, because he was a Broadway actor, he went up on his lines, and he quickly thought, well, I better walk out the door and, you know, <laughs> get my line. And he walks out the door of the airplane that's supposedly in flight. <laughs> <laughs> and they went to black. <laughs> uh, and they went to commercial. And over the intercom, the director says, okay, folks, so-and-so, the woman who's supposedly with the guy on the plane, when we come back, you're going to cry like you've never cried before. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy literally wrote himself out of the, out of the, out of the show. Too funny. Uh, and, and I got that story from Jonna Rollins, was it, who used to be on one of those soaps. And, and she says that's one of, the most fam was one of the most famous stories in soap operas about the guy who wrote himself out uh, yeah. by just walking out the door of the plane. Boop. You know, and then well, that's the danger of live television. Yep. That's why we don't do live television anymore. That's right. Yeah. So... Uh, Anyway. I saw a lot of the. I was watching a lot of the Milton Berle shows, and uh, he made a ton of mistakes on those live shows. But he knew how to get himself out of it. Yeah. Uh, but you know, he's an old pro. But uh, yeah. Yeah. I love that story. Yeah. So yeah, but uh, but uh, anyway, so I mean, uh, getting back, like we get back to Samantha B. I showed that picture earlier. That the word never went out on the air, and it was what was it and, and, and the cunt. Cunt. Oh. It, it, it called, she called uh, uh, Ivanka a, a feckless cunt, but she didn't use the word cunt. She knew they were going to bleep it out. She knew he, she was going to bleep it out, okay? I mean, that they were going to say the word to the audience. The audience was then going to laugh, but it was going to go beep. And I showed earlier a still frame with the subtitles of that moment, and it says beep, Okay. Uh, and here's a fair so, so thing. It she's never, made herself a well, fair target. Wait a minute. So it never went out over the air to begin with. So here you got this moron Trump coming out saying, how can she do this thing and not get fired by the network? It didn't happen, Donald, you feckless cocksucker. Whatever happened to leaving the uh, children of uh, the president? She alone? has made herself a fair right, target. Hey, 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 hey. That's true. When they keep their fucking mouth shut and they just have their own private lives. But this that isn't the case with Ivanka. Not when she's going to various countries on missions of diplomatic missions for the president. You know, not when she is working in the White as House as office. audience. She has an office in the White House, for Christ's she sake. She is pure, uh, pure grist for the mill. Yes, Patrick. Yeah, and, and the other thing is Chelsea Clinton, while Billwood president went off limit, but when she was helping her mother campaign, she herself made herself a target. So if anybody said anything, she yeah. was an adult, and she was on the campaign trail with her but, mother. So but but when, when, she, when, when, her, when, her, when her father was president, she never they never put her in the forefront. She right. never made any comments, and so therefore she was not grist for the mill. She does should that have explain been off limits, but does they that explain so it sufficient? about her saying how ugly she was and this and that. Who? With uh, 
Chelsea. They they made Chelsea, so many yeah. comments about how ugly she was. No, that was you and, and that was you and your friends. But I don't think you saw. No, that, that um, wasn't me and my friends. That yeah. was the news. They're not necessarily the news. Like you know, you'd hear it on the radio. You'd see it on TV shows. They'd talk so much crap about her, and you know, she's probably about the same age I was. And I was always thinking that's so unfair. You know, she's not yeah. out there. Yeah. You know, saying anything or doing anything. But and Phil, does that, does, that, like that. does that basically answer your question, Phil? No. No, because oh, then then she is. You should never make fun of her because she does make political decisions I and is helping. Was what about? Uh, and I'm uh, saying uh, that in this particular case, she's fair game. She's well, made herself fair game. She's an employee well, she's of, of the White House. It's she's just on the staff. She's, she's on the staff of the White House. Trump's youngest kid, either. yes, that he should be off limits. Well, but so her, no. going after Valerie Jarrett, she was on the staff of the White you, House. You too. don't see but any, you don't see any comedians well, making name. fun about Baron Trump, okay? Yeah, yeah. So, oh uh, no, they went after Baron Trump. I'm, I'm well, sorry. Oh really? Where, when, and how? Is this going to be another one of your your fake items? Because last night he sends me a hey. thing. He sends me a thing about we were trying. What were we trying to figure out? Uh, 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 the uh, the dossier and who yeah. and the DNC and who paid, paid for, it. for it and you sent me an article from a, an, uh, an outfit called Investor Business or something like that yeah and that is not and uh, I look and I looked the I looked the company up and as a media company they are rated far to the right no okay. they, it, it said mixed the no it didn't say mixed no mixed. no it it they had a meter yeah. and there was left and there was right and on the meter it was almost edging it was about uh, nine tenths to the right it's because it's business it's it's like the wall street no, journal no, no, but that doesn't the... mean you lie and that's what they were saying they no, were unreliable and, and they were unreliable it said they were unreliable in their information was in uh the your phil your washington phil, post. phil send me washington post also had it i could have sent you the same I, thing from the post no you couldn't yeah it's, it's, it's right there find it for me yes uh jason Patrick was first. Oh, Patrick. Patrick. I gotta go. I just want to tell you, I'm at my my, my nephew's part uh, graduation. Have oh. fun, everybody. Okay, bye bye, Ray. Don't kill each other. Bye bye. Uh, okay. <laughs> Don't kill each other. That's a, yeah, that's a good way for us to think about things. Now, now Phil is going to spend the rest of the oh, show. Oh. Phil is going to spend the rest of the show trying to find the article to substantiate his Washington Post his, his false beliefs yeah yeah well it keeps him quiet it kind of gives him a shiny object to look at so we can get on and have an adult Spiral. discussion here <laughs> yes um, um, Patrick Patrick you had your hand uh, up? yeah I, I I was just gonna uh, reiterate with uh, the Obama uh, their daughter were never in the spotlight either and they were never targeted. And if they would ever, if if uh, the show ever ran and they were campaigning, then they're fair game at that point. But Barrett's never been. Uh, Barron, yeah. And I mean, the only time I've heard Barrett's name mentioned was when I believe he was at the first at the State of the Union, and they, you know, fed the. Derek Barrett, or, or at the inauguration, or whatever. Yeah. So, well, and, but and they, also they his, did go after him a little bit. They said that he looked like he had Down syndrome, which he kind of does, but nowhere near as much Chelsea Clinton took. No, no, my uh, she. Uh, yeah, but um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, there is another daughter of Trump's, uh, the one by Marla Maples, who while Tiffany she, Tiffany, while she did campaign kind of for her father. Uh, they've kind of laid off Tiffany. You don't hear them talk about Tiffany much, you know. She's kind of the other Trump daughter, you know. So she's not employed by the White House now either. So no, you know, and they may have said a word or two while they were campaigning, but now, what's the point? She's not even part of the deal. So yeah, yeah. Check your uh, message thing, Alex. No, okay. You know, I'm going to check my message thing. Not now. Hey, so I'll check it after. Yeah, I miss it. Washington Post. Yeah. Washington Post. The headline is Clinton campaign DNC paid for research that led to Russia dossier. Okay. And that's the Washington Post. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to read the whole thing and see what it says. Yeah. Because you and, never read well, the same thing you, the way everybody else does. And see how 
right. So, so oh. it was so blatantly, obviously out there that the Russians were colluding with the Trump campaign I, that the Democratic Party did pay to get some information to try to find out more information right. about Trump's colluding with them, and they handed no. that over to the FBI, and the FBI said, "Yeah, that is." They paid for it too. It was all fake. It's oh, fake. it's all okay. fake. Oh, yeah. sure, Phil, that, how many why, here? How many just people by, are indicted? Just how many people, by, indicted? It was how many people pled? To them, how many people, Phil? Jeff, how many people pled guilty already for lying about it? Only for for getting caught up in in uh, their. How many? Blah, 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 blah. Hey, it was fake news. You get, that you get wait, 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 Everybody, fake guilty. news, fake news. Everybody who believes that a bunch of hookers peed on Donald Trump, will you raise your hand, please? I think he peed on them. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's where he gets his kicks. Uh, Pat Patrick, did he use a catheter? <laughs> yeah. Bobby, to, uh, uh, you can you can switch up your stream with with them. So yeah, yeah, you can get a lot more distance. Oh yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're back to medical stuff again. Oh, boy. <laughs> Except that how it relates to pee. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, so I, you know, I mean, all I'm saying is, is that uh, we, I, we've become far too sensitive all the way around uh, about things. And, and I think, you know, uh, uh, Roseanne is, she's a victim of her, of her own stupidity. But that stupidness would have been tolerated, say, five years ago. She even had her own TV show called Roseanne's Nuts. <laughs> oh, well, that was about her macadamia nuts. But hey, and and she, her craziness. She too. had a talk show for two seasons. I remember that uh, a while back. But, I mean, all I'm saying is when you live in certain times, it, it's like... Uh, 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 Harvey Weinstein lived in a time where he actually felt he could get away with this kind of shit because nobody ever made a big deal out of it. He did get away with it. You know, so, I mean, people so. would say, oh, that's just Harvey, you know? And then all of a sudden, the Me Too movement comes out, and now all of a sudden, retroactively, anything anybody did in the past becomes... a. a, 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 a they're accountable for it. They're accountable for it, yeah. Now, I'm not saying it isn't bad behavior, and that I, I certainly wouldn't tolerate somebody doing that. I've, in fact, I've even called people on it when they've done it uh, in my career. But uh, uh, still, you know, uh, how retroactively do we get on this stuff when we're, we're, we're permissive to it at a certain point, and then at a certain point we're no longer permissive to it? Are they going to take those uh, videos off of RedTube, a casting couch? You know, they, there's a, a casting couch series on RedTube. I have no idea. I don't look at RedTube. Oh, yeah. It's one of my favorites. Oh, you pay for RedTube? No, no, no. I get it for free. Oh, RedTube. Oh, that's uh, that's that's a porn site. Yeah, I thought and there's meant. one called, uh, there's a series, just like there's uh, the cab one, you know, f a fake taxi. There's a casting couch one. And uh, hmm. it's usually they want to become a porn star. And uh, so you, they've got, you, you believe that, huh? I, I don't believe any of it. It's all staged. Yes, of course. But, but because of that, I did buy a, a By the way, you notice when you start it. speaking, everybody leaves? Yeah. I bought a new sofa for my living room, so I, I just got a casting couch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Vernon, what do you think about all this? You've been quiet this evening. I have been quiet. I've just been listening. <laughs> yeah, I've been sort I've been sorting the the wire cuttings from my house that I'm building with uh, Habitat. So, you, you know, you've been sorting the wiring. Well, when we when we uh, rough in a house, we have uh, cuttings, and instead of throwing that in the trash and end up in the landfill, it's got copper. So we save them in a separate box, and I s separate out the the bare wire. Yeah, from the from the from wire the, that has insulation on it because right. you get a different price for the bare wire. Oh, uh, okay. And, 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 you get two two dollars two dollars and thirty five cents a pound for the bare wire, but only a dollar and thirty cents a pound 
for the wire with the insulation. Well, on the it, reason so. is, of course, the insulation weighs something, and they're never going to be able to yeah. use it, right? It's ba it's based on the the percentage of copper. Yeah. Now, what so. do you do with the money? Uh, we put it in our pizza fund down at the center. So. Oh, okay. All right. No, that's good. Yeah. You know, I'm four houses right now for habitat. Uh, right now we have six going. Yeah, yeah. These are in Martinez, California. And what do you yeah. do? Put in uh, put in a uh, rug. Yeah, a rug. The only parts of the house that they use rug in these houses are on uh, one set of stairs. But yeah, I do them. Yeah. No. It's all. It all depends on the homeowner uh, with habitat. If they want carpeting or if they want laminate oh. or whatever, these they are, get to pick. That. These are not sold yet. What they do is uh, this is a whole development. Uh, well, I, well, let me ask you on state. Habitat for the Humanities. Do they sell these homes to these people? Do these people get them for free? No, they're not for free. No, you have to qualify, and uh, you usually go after a sponsor and get a sponsor to put up about forty-five to fifty thousand dollars so that they can buy all the materials to to build the house and then the other part of it the, the house is usually appraised somewhere around ninety five to a hundred thousand dollars so Maybe. the difference between what the sponsor gives them and and what the house appraises for they actually make a mortgage a twenty-year mortgage with zero interest wow. and the homeowner okay. has to pay monthly mortgage payments But that's really good that, that's a yeah. nice thing in, in this development, there's about 60 houses. I've done most of them. This is the last phase, and uh, everything is exactly the same. The the floors, uh, the, the laminate gets put in by the home uh, by the by the volunteers, and yeah. uh, and the, the carpet gets put in by us. That's the way ours works. Also, we have volunteers who so put the laminate down. Yeah, and so everything is laminate, but uh, that one stairway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I do the electrical. I'm the chief. I'm the crew leader for the electrical crew, and I'm one, our chapter is one of the few habitat chapters in the country that actually have a group of volunteers that do the electrical. Most of the chapters actually contract it out. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that gets contracted out. Uh, yeah, um, but I still think I th still think it's a wonderful yeah. organization. It's wonderful work that's being done. Uh, let me see. What else is happening in the news? Well, uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, yes, uh, Jason. Jason. AT&T is on strike in, like, Ohio and Michigan and Wisconsin, I believe. Now, you and, uh, you, you work for who? Do you work for AT&T? AT I'm on strike. Is You're what on say. strike. What are they on okay. strike for? Unfair labor practices. Okay. Oh, you mean you got jobs? <laughs> no, no, unfair. What, what, no, what's we're, a, we're under a contract negotiation, and hmm. uh, basically the company, instead of following the law and dealing with the uh, bargaining team, is trying to go directly to the members. Oh, kind of like so, Trump, North Korea. Well, why do you have to take this off uh, well, into another North direction? Korea, Trump are talking this is directly. not what we're talking about. It's not like what's going on in North Korea, Phil. It's a joke. When, when uh, there's, well, there's would you please please put up a sign saying, saying this is drum, a joke a before you take it? What? <laughs> do I have to put a drum roll after it for you to get it? You know? <laughs> I just say when, when there's laws set forth saying that you're when you have contract negotiations going on and you're supposed to deal with the, the, uh, the people who are appointed by each side and the company decides we want to bypass them and go straight oh, so to they, the employees so when they go to the employees what do they do they do they literally go in and talk to the employees and no nah, the, the, i don't know it was kind of stupid they they sent out an email saying this is our final offer to you and you know it, and it sounds all great and grand and all this and that but they leave out all the details yeah oh, they forget the final stuff. offer set of steak knives yeah. Yeah. So, so, but you know, so sucks. You know, today was my first full day of no pay, but I end up, I had to go out and uh, uh, walk the picket line in front of my work, and I end up doing 13 miles today, according to my phone. Now, now in the old days with unions, when they went on strike, they had a strike fund, and what they would do is uh, they would pay the members a certain amount of money, especially to walk the strike line. Do they do we that have anymore? We a month huh? before that happens. A month before we get anything. Oh, and right. then it's like $1,000 a month. Can you drive for Uber? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about laying carpet. Yeah. <laughs> you hiring? <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now, you considered that job with AT&T a pretty good job, didn't you? Oh, it's a great job. That's just you great. Know, yeah, it, it's a career. You know, I, I, I will say I make the kind of money that people go to college for four to six years to make. You know, and the benefits I get are great. But, you know, when especially this last year, AT&T was bragging up and down how much of a record breaking profits and everything that they're making. You know, why do you got to try to make more profits on the backs of the people who are making you the profits? Yeah. Why do you just you know, share you're, a little? You're doing it. good because sure. we're doing good for you. Don't they and have you got it? Huh? What? What did you, sorry, say, what you Phil? say, Phil? Don't they have shares? It's probably because AT and T is run by a bunch of liberals, right? Yeah. They have, <laughs> I, 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 shareholders that want some of those profits, you know. Yeah. Well, the biggest shareholder is going to be the back CEO. From, uh, Trump. Why did they use that, right? Well, and that too, and they said that they were going to create so many more jobs. They just didn't say in what country. So you know, and that's you know, you know we're kind of basically you know. The company isn't bargaining in good faith, so it's got to flex your muscle a bit. I'm hoping that we go back to work in a couple of days. I don't want to be out of work. I don't want to be, you know, leaving these customers out of service to, you know, and, and that's even what a lot of our union brothers and sisters talk about is our customers. You know, we, we care about our customers. We want to take care of them, you know, and, and it's just it's unfortunate that the company doesn't want to bargain in good faith right now. And Have you ever called AT&T's customer service line and see what it's like to be a customer? Yeah, I, actually, yes. there are plenty of times that I have to deal with them directly. And mm -hmm. I will say, you know, that there are issues. But I will also say that I go into people's houses who have companies like Comcast and other companies like that and uh, a Spectrum, too. Oh, my God. When I was in Ohio, Spectrum's the worst. All the crap I heard about Spectrum was horrible. All the stuff I hear every day about Comcast is horrible. Do they, have, they, do they like, have Wave anywhere else in the country? Besides, I have not heard of Wave. Uh, I just switched to Wave. It always comes back to Phil. Uh, yeah, you want a glove? Uh, yeah, waves. Uh, the thing is that um, uh, AT and T, um, what you're talking about, Phil, is customer service. And right. I've, I've, wait a minute, I've had people here who, when we had like Time Warner, uh, who would come here and they were the installers, and they Those would wait. Great. Would you let me finish, Phil? God, you know. That's uh, what his wife says. Yeah. Especially now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that good. Hey, that's a sound bite for the next news. Yeah. <laughs> a anyway, no, the point is that um um uh I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh oh they they, they would they would have to call over to you know, uh Time Warner or whatever, Warner Cable. And uh they would have the same amount of trouble I would have as if I were calling them. Oh, am I yeah. right about this, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Jason? That, that yeah. you, when you, you know, when, when you have to call to do something, you put on hold just like anybody else. Not on everything, but the worst thing, and I feel the worst about it. Like, say I come to your place to do service, mm -hmm. and you say I canceled that, and now I have to call in, and I'm put on hold just the same as you were to have it canceled, and I'm I'm sitting there, I'm like I'm sorry. <laughs> But I want to make sure, you know, please be patient with me. I'll be on hold for you, and then I'll come in. I'll put you on the phone at the right time because they need the cancellation from the customer and not from me. And it's so ridiculous and annoying. But I'll sit there, and I'll try to put up with all the crap for you. You know, yeah. because even though you're canceling, but I want to leave you with a good impression. Be like, man, this guy from AT&T, he came out here, and he did what needed to be done. Ladies and gentlemen, see well-known uh mr ludwig hello mr ludwig All right, we don't have a picture yet on him though the problem yeah, i'm trying to fix that okay okay he, he's gonna get it working he's gonna get it working anyway um using a different phone yeah so i mean uh you know that it, 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 it dealing uh, uh you, listen i gotta tell you i've i've had some times with fios that i wanted to go nuts trying to talk to you know technical support right 
uh, and other times it was a pleasure. I mean, it, 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 it's it, it, and the one that I have trouble with. There's certain companies who their their technical support changes, it gets worse or it gets better, and the one that I have trouble with is GoDaddy, who I do my website through, and uh, put all the files on. It used to be I call I call them up and I'd say I got a problem. They say what's the problem? And I tell them the problem. No matter how complex it was, they would sit there and work with me to solve it. Now it's what's your problem? Blah 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 blah. And they go, okay, well I'm going to send you. I have to send you over to hosting. And as soon as they say that, I say how long are you going to be on the line waiting for hosting? And they say, oh I don't know. The look, it looks to be about twenty minutes right now. And I'm going, I'm. I just want to get something simple fixed. In the old days, they would have fixed it in a second. So I these companies change you, all the time. I think it's who you know with these things. You know, I waited for Comcast to put uh, to dig a forty foot trench to put Comcast into my building at the the store. Mm -hmm. And what happened was six seven months went by. Uh, I was using a terrible DSL line, and uh, they kept telling me that the city was holding them up. So I have a friend that's uh, the city manager, and he talked to the permit people, and they said they never applied for a permit. Hey, I'm telling you, Phil, that's a bunch of bullshit because no, they were just sparing a drop to your service, no, not an actual come, cable. They had to come. No, there was no drop. They had to dig a trench and, and put. Uh, they wouldn't have had to dig a trench. They could have no, just cut did. a hole through your they, asphalt. It was 40, 40 feet. So Phil, anyway. Phil, here you got a guy who does this for a living, oh, and you're so arguing well. with him. I'm well, saying there. I saw what they did. They dug a trench. Uh, they had to run the line. Let me, let me finish this. So what happens is I'm getting nowhere with these people. A guy comes in from Comcast to buy carpet because his technician burnt uh, the car, uh, 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 homeowner's carpet. Uh, so he 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 says, "Well, I'm from Comcast. I thought he was here to give me the approval." And he says, "No, no, no. We got to buy carpet." So. Uh, the guy, I sold him carpet, and he uh, got on the phone with Comcast, and I got stalled the next week. Yeah, because they were going to probably try to put in a cable where they didn't need to put in a cable. No, they they could have hung a, put a drop, you know, a service drop that only needs to go three inches underground versus no, three feet. No, because it was on the other side of the street. And, uh, and then they had no, a... I was it up in the air? Crew. Boy, is this getting boring. <laughs> Boy, no, is this really boring. Uh, folks, uh, but, if you got something is, else to do with your you life, uh, this would be a it's good time to do it. What? It's who you know, not yeah. what you know. Mm. Uh, you know, the guy the guy intervened. He was the head guy for the installations, and you know, he made a call. I, I would rather just it. sit here and watch Vernon separate <laughs> copper from its, uh, from its, from its uh, outside uh, than hear this discussion go on for another second. All right. I'm going to go get some coffee. <laughs> uh, yeah, go get some coffee. Uh, yeah, that's what we need. We need more jittery Phil. Uh, <laughs> in his underwear. Yeah. Uh, yeah but anyway. I could always, I could always break in, uh, Alex, anytime. <laughs> oh, good, good. Yeah. Whenever the show gets to sound boring, Vernon, just do that. Uh, I don't okay. know. I don't know what you're saying with it, but. Uh, uh, that's the Morse code for break. Oh, really? Oh, okay. By the way, I saw a very interesting documentary. Now, anybody see this documentary that HBO is running on John McCain's life? The kind, the kind no, of. Thank you. Did you did you watch it, Jeff? I I just heard a little bit of it, and sure, I, I don't. Wait a couple I don't of weeks. Leave. Is it going to be like for a whole, whole week? No, 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 no. It's it's uh, it's about an hour and forty five minutes. It totally dies. And it's basically, they call it, somebody referred to it as a pre-obituary. It really yeah. is what it is. It's his whole life and a retrospective of his life and running for office and so on up to the present. And uh, I thought it was ast astonishing because, you know, it, normally if somebody's doing something like this, they're just completely nice to the person they're doing. But in the case of John McCain, it was warts and all. And it was just, it was very good. It was very good. You know. Um, Where he, was it? On, on, on HBO. 
It's on HBO. HBO. It's called For Whom the Bell Tolls, because that's his favorite book, uh, For Whom the Bell Tolls. Uh, and it's uh, it's a really a great Hemingway. documentary if you get to see it. What? Did somebody say something? Hemingway. Hemingway, yeah. He well, he says that's his fav favorite book of all time for him. Yes. Yeah, but that's because that was the only book that they had to read for for, for thirty five years. Uh, what what do you mean? Who? Huh. Remember when Kit, when McCain was was in prison. Oh, yeah, but not 35 years. I mean, five years. I don't know. No, I think, no, he read the book when he was a kid. It was the first book he ever read. Really? And he said he loved the lead character because it was a guy who uh, was very selfless and gave himself to a cause, you know. Cause? So it had a you know. What's that? Where did that come back? Got an interesting slap back. So uh, uh, the uh, jobs uh, numbers came out today, and uh, uh, for the most part, good. You know, there are uh, less yeah, people unemployed. Dog shit and the diamonds, though, Alex. What? I'm, they're, they're shining dog shit in the diamonds. That's what these numbers well, are, fudged it, numbers. And they tweet. say when oh, it, 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 the, the, the numbers on, on what people are getting paid are not equivalent to what they should be considering how low the uh, the number is and of course that number you know is always based on like if you're if you're out of work and you're unemployed and you're getting unemployment compensation and then all of a sudden your unemployment compensation runs out you're not on the out of work list anymore you're not on the unemployed list anymore or are you on the unemployed list if you've just given up because you're either too old to find work or that's right I'm no I, I am not on the unemployed list you know and I am unemployed I am unemployed Wait a minute, who, where's that sound? Wait a minute, where's that coming from? That... Renee. Hello, Renee. Hey. How, Hi. How are you? Good, I don't think that's me. Well, it's nobody now, so it's fine. You know. Okay, great. Yeah. So, uh, I've been to see. How's your volcano? Yeah, our ass is still on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and and the good news is if you're coming to the islands the trade winds are going to be here all week so any other island but our island is perfect okay so what 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 what, what is there any idea of when this thing is going to calm down or can't they predict that sort of thing not even close nobody has an idea nope this thing the best, the best scientist on this planet cannot tell you when this is going to stop hey are you getting any of that stuff that uh, is blowing up into the atmosphere the flood yeah actually okay so two things. when you asked about the lays last week and i was wrong lays is very bad the only thing is is that the the good news for everybody else on the island except for the Puau district is it's going to one place. So those people already got their masks, they were all distributed, it, it all looks good. But in Phil, the answer to Phil's question is, as long as the trade winds keep going, it won't rip, whip around to the Kona side of the island, which is good because there's some half Ironman, half marathon this weekend. And if the winds change, if we don't keep our trade winds, it's going to come out onto the marathoners. Wait a minute. Let me ask you a question, though. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we know we know we, we know about this uh, this volcano. It's Kilauea. It's probably the most famous volcano, I think, in the Hawaiian Islands. Is it not? No, just it's only currently. Okay. Yeah, see, is is there one? Is there one near you? Yeah, uh, the one I show you guys all the time, where the observatories are. Yeah. That's not extinct. That's a real fucking volcano. And they built so, observatories up there. And they built observatories on top of it. So, uh, yeah, the ones I show, the one that I usually flip around and show it to you. That I live. I was just up there today. I had to go to the ten thousand uh, elevation, ten thousand to start working out and stuff like that. But yeah, no, it's it's really close. Why, why uh, to begin with, uh, also, uh, also, uh, let me just turn this off a second, just to see, try and stop. We're having, uh, we're having slap back from somebody yeah. or someplace. Uh, Renee, are you running in that marathon? Fuck no. Those people are- What are you are going up there for? No, because I have to, so on, 
On July 8th, I'm going on a hiking tour of the top of Mauna Kea, and we're going to be allowed into the Canadian French Hawaiian Telescope Observatory. So I don't want to get sick. I don't want to miss a second of once that door opens, I want to absorb everything. <laughs> oh, okay. So you just want to get used to the altitude. Yeah, I need to get used to the altitude. Oh, okay. Or you're not so yeah, the volcano that I show you, the, the observatories are built on a non-extinct volcano. And the other, so I showed you there were two mounds that got snow this year. The other one, so there's another volcano between us and Kilauea. Um, so there's two volcanoes between me and Kilauea, and there's three volcanoes on this island. Hmm. Well. And there's a lot of lava. And there's, and she's really pissed. I mean, boy, is she madder than a hornet. Why, why I, do, why do we call volcanoes uh, she? What, what, what? I, uh, you know, that's it's God. I mean, all, we, on on hurricanes, we alternately name them male and female. Okay. Because right. if you flip the volcano upside down, yeah. Who is the goddess? Yeah, I'm not going there. Yeah. <laughs> Who was the goddess of the volcanoes? Pele. 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 Pele's a woman. Pele's female. And this probably has to do with uh, your area because we know that when we name ships, we name them after females. When there's other countries that name ships, they actually might not use females. So it was like the th same thing with hurricanes. We were using strictly one set of rule one set of uh, male or masculine or feminine and then everybody said well what the hell for let's just name them all terrors and so then we became naming them both genders but i don't know because i know in europe a ship is a he and not a she and that's all i know so it's got to do well, with well, does, does this have to do with a certain kind of uh uh shall we say um Decency among the Hawaiian people that they would think of naming something like a volcano, uh, saying w volcanoes are female? No, I don't think this was, well, you know, the men, there is, so the early religion, uh, let's rephrase that, the early comprehension of the way the Hawaiian Islands work, there were actual human sacrifices there weren't there was not a monotheistic religion mm -hmm. so they have many gods and they're both male or female they didn't pick like all gods are not female so they the god of the mountain is a male the god of the river is a male but then they just go from there okay all right i was just wondering I, you know i mean because uh, it, it sounds like it's nice that they made volcanoes women Pissed, well, somebody pissed her off. That's all I well, have to Somebody say. really pissed her off. I'll tell you <laughs> something. You know what is horrible is as you sit here and you see these pictures of the volcano and you go, I know it's not good for people there. I know that some people can get killed by that stuff, but God, that looks amazing. Oh, yeah. I, I, every moment, it's really getting hard for me not to go down there and start taking pictures. Um, I heard one of the tour boats was operating, so I might try to book the tour boat, but I'm dying to go down there and shoot lava. And the problem is, is they don't need a stupid white person down there, or they don't need a stupid person down there at all. Yeah. The color but, the but, but yeah. Does carbon fiber melt? Does carpet fiber melt? Car carbon oh, fiber. Oh, carbon She's fiber. She's asking about my tripod. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, no, because see, you can't bring, so I'd have to bring my monopod, and the reason, everybody think about this, the reason you have to bring a, a, a monopod, or some stationary thing that will allow you to take a photo, you can't bring a tripod, you have to bring a singular monopod, because you have to be able to run, and they're not kidding when they say that, so in scuba diving, when you have a weight belt, the first thing they tell you is don't spend a lot of money on it because the first thing you're going to drop when you get in trouble, or one of the first things, is your damn weight belt. So it's got to be a cheap weight belt. Well, with a tripod, the you see the photographers you see taking these photos, none of them have a tripod. None of them have a monopod. They're ready to run when they when the military people say run, they're running. 
which is kind of cool because you can out, you can outrun lava, can't you? No, 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 no. If it's coming down on you, that's a different thing. But when it's 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 going along the ground, it's it not it's not really they speedy. Say that it's traveling a football field every ten minutes. Mm-hmm. So that's three hundred feet in ten minutes. Is, is yeah. the, okay, but you could run. Th- well, maybe you couldn't, but I think I could run three hundred <laughs> well, feet. Well, okay, in 10. so now you're at eleven thousand feet, and lava's coming, and you're our age, and you haven't worked out, and, and you're gonna die. Yeah. Right. Who's age? <laughs> well, oh yeah. Okay, excluding Jason and Brian and Patrick, all the rest of us are the same, the same age. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, Pat. Ones. Yes, Patrick. Patrick. Patrick? Uh, okay. uh, um, the thing is, Renee, I get to qualify to be older than all of you because I'm already in a wheelchair. So, no. So, and I'm, yeah. I'm wearing diapers. Well, hold on a second. So, here's the deal. We can, the only problem with the wheelchair, Patrick, is you will be faster than us. You will be quicker than us. It will, but one, 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 one crack in the road. Your history. You're on our backs. <laughs> and Phil could take off his diaper to absorb the lava. <laughs> the thing is, Renee, I, I what a pathetic in, bunch of people we got here. Yeah. I, I've been in parking lot and I've hit gravel, just oh. a little piece of gravel wrong, and have nearly flipped out of the chair. So I highly doubt I'd be able to be faster than you guys. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Jeff, what, Jeff, what Jeff. Jeff uh, I, mean, uh, I went up. Uh, Jeff, I went up uh, fourteen thousand feet up yeah. there. Yeah. And how'd you run? How fast? I, I didn't run at all. I, I survived. <laughs> yes. Well, I've been up. I've, 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 I climbed up Mount Shasta and went to fourteen thousand, but but thirteen thousand feet. How old were you when you did that, Alex? Oh, it was just a week ago. No, uh, yeah. I was uh, much younger, but yeah. but I it was rough for me too, you know. And I was yeah. I was a smoker in those days, so it wasn't, uh, <laughs> you know. So what they're starting to do in some of these areas, which I this is back to Patrick and the wheelchair thing. It's not really a wheelchair thing; it's a car thing. The Department of Transportation, if they're if they're nowhere near a bad area, are coming and putting big ass metal plates down on these cracks. And I'm like, how is that a good idea? Seriously, if there's a four foot crack in the road, why are we sending people over top of it? I thought the lava was 2000 degrees. It is when it comes out. Yeah, yeah, but it cools off pretty fast, doesn't it? Yeah, but you get a hot foot, I guess. Uh, but, yeah. it, but it does cool down fast, doesn't it, once it's out there? Not the, it's kind of like the cement thing where, who's been to the Hoover Dam where they said, yeah. The cement is still curing. It's the still inside. curing in the center yeah. of Hoover Dam. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's the kind of like the lava. It, it's it, you could maybe step on it, but everything underneath it is not. Yeah, it gets yeah. a skin on it, and then it's <laughs> hot underneath it. That's yes. not funny. Uh, as Patrick. Yeah, the lava that I was standing on uh, by Kilauea, that was from a an eruption it, during the eighties, I believe. Eighty-three. So that, yeah. So I mean, that still could be true. That maybe the lava several hundred feet below me was still curing, but where I was standing, uh, you could fall and break your arm because it was you were just cured of yeah. anything else. So right, it's rock hard. I have to admit. Well, this. They, I, 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 are they going to be able to put those roads back in once all this stops? Can well, they that's get, kind of, can first they, off, that's kind of the big deal is, you know, where are we putting the people is, is what we really need to be working because on. Because some, of these, some of these people are having trouble getting out because uh, uh, the roads are closing down. You know. Yeah, but they're, they're not going to. So you have to understand they know we're idiots. Yeah, but so, there, there are some people who are saying we're not moving. Right. And what the government has said to them is, guess what? We might send a helicopter for you, but probably not. I thought they said they were going to arrest them if they didn't leave. No, if they go back in. Yeah, they go back in. Oh. Remember, this is a really dense area as far as vegetation. So if you were 20 feet from me, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference you between see, you and a tree. You see that guy on the news shooting? Shot, shot his gun. Shot his gun at, at, at a neighbor. I guess uh, people's uh, nerves are on edge. 
This is a, this is what I guess the Koreans would call a dutard. Patrick had his hand up. Okay. I I was going to say that, um, and when I where I was at, um, you know, and I had mentioned it last week or a week before that they were telling you don't go near the fissure because of the sulfur uh, fumes and that. The other thing that they said was they do not bring helicopters into that area because there's nowhere to land. So in order to get you out medically, there would have to be an ambulance and the trail, literally the trail to get up there would take, I think it was like 45 minutes. So you better, like Renee's saying, you know, you you follow what they say when they say it because they're not doing it to be assholes. They're doing it to save your life. Listen, so, not to interrupt, I, not to interrupt I, this discussion, but I want to ask Vernon something. Vernon, yeah. while we, we've been doing the show, you've been separating copper from copper shielding, right? Right. Plastic right. Shielding. The plastic shielding that is around the wire. Uh, yeah. What do you do with the plastic shielding? Can you sell that off for anything? No. No, I put it. I put it in a recycle bin. Our city has uh, one source recycling. Mm -hmm. So while we've been on the air, how much copper do you think you've yielded? Oh, probably five or six pounds is all. While we've been talking on the air? Yeah. Well, we all want a little bit of that. You know, we've been sitting here while you've been doing that. We've been giving you moral support. (laughs) On the helicopter, uh, I used to work with Coast Guard and, and my police department. And when we would, they would drop a swimmer, they would send a basket down to our boat, and I'd put the swimmer uh, in the basket, and then the helicopter would take them, evac them from the boat uh, back up to the helicopter. Uh, that's, you know, was one of our duties to practice that. Uh, couldn't they uh, get the helicopters in, use the rescue basket, and uh, then, you know, evacuate the, uh, the people? Well, so okay so number one you have to understand these people are not stupid so when the police department comes to you and says it's for your own good we really need you to move we really don't want to endanger any of the service people that would have to come and get you we really don't want to put them in danger we don't want you to be in danger and guess what these people do they believe it and they and they honor that what the, what they're told to do. So these these little stragglers that are kind of left, they're pretty much going to say, you know what, we we did they did a helicopter evac a couple of days ago because the the lava switched and it and it cornered a group of houses that it shouldn't have cornered. They brought in one of the big helos. They loaded it up with a whole bunch of people. They took them out to safety. But this they're not going to be doing that for the one offs. They're not going to. When Mount St. Helens blew, uh, there was a group of people that wouldn't leave, and I think that they just ended up getting consumed. Yeah, That's fine with me. Yeah. Darwin Awards wins. It's definitely Darwin Award time. Uh, yeah. how, how you doing, Jeff? Great. Are you on mute? He's, <laughs> he's on mute. I, so I'm, I'm verbally on right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me see. Here. So yeah, I'm trying to go down. And, uh, what happened? What happened to Jason? Where's Jason? Probably went to get more beer. Oh, oh yeah, beer. That could be. So somebody's doing a half marathon down here tomorrow, and I'm just like, why? But as long as the trade winds stay in, yeah. okay, okay. there should be okay. And mm-hmm. if anybody's going to Hawaii, as long as you're not on our island, there should be absolutely no problems. Okay. All what right. are they doing with the people that are leaving that side of the island? They're, well, so they're just moving them to, because most of these are huge resorts, all they're doing is picking a huge resort on another island, issuing a flight voucher and sending them to another island. Mm-hmm. What about the people that live in houses? That, uh... There's the problem. So there's this is a... A bunch of suburbs, or excuse me, a bunch of housing developments in a very green, dense area. So you can easily miss houses. You can ease because of all the overgrowth of the green. So it becomes imperative that they start knocking on doors one by one and going from place. And they've done that. 
And have, have I you think, contacted James Lee? Uh, I, Alex, I put a shout out. Has I know. Has, I don't know. I would ask something, but I'm not doing the interviewing on the show tonight. Phil is. Well, if James well, Lee can hear me or whoever else might be stuck on the island, if you need assistance, please get a hold of Alex and Alex will get a hold of me. Uh, well, all I know is I heard from Mr. Lee about, what, a week ago, something like that. <clears throat> Yeah, but see, yesterday Gila was not the right place to be. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But today it's better. But um, most of the really bad stuff is blowing down towards one area, and it's really mm. – and I don't know how many people are left in the area. It was a pretty lush, non-dense, okay, human Okay, so when does, when does the next disaster happen? When does FEMA come in? <laughs> No, we don't. You know what? We don't expect the United States government to show up. And weren't those numbers Why? horrific from Puerto Rico? Well, uh, well, what happened in Puerto Rico is ridiculous, where the United States government said it was 64 people dead and it's like 4,000 some odd. Yeah, that was horrific. You know, that and that horrific. there are people down there right now who are saying that, you know, it's hurricane season. And they say if another hurricane comes, they're, they're they're up shit's creek. They, 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 haven't, they haven't got enough. Is they, they haven't got enough. Started today. What? Yeah, but they Hurricane haven't. Hurricane started. Right. Didn't the Florida Panhandle get hit by a hurricane uh, today? Two days ago? A, a Yesterday small. or day before? Yeah. 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 But we what, had the all, remnants uh, of Alberto come through Michigan like yesterday. Yeah. But yeah. what I'm saying yeah. is, is that they say that yeah. if another one, a decent one, hits, they are have have no infrastructure to deal with it. I mean, it, it, that's how little we've done for Puerto Rico. And remember, yeah, folks. there's parts of the island that still have no yeah. power down Remember, there. folks, these are Americans, okay? Yeah. Why is it that you guys don't want to give this country, this island to Canada so that Canada can do right by the Puerto Ricans? Because we're treating them By like the way, shit. Did, you, did you hear Trudeau about the United States and oh, the whole trade why, thing? Was that not painful to watch? No, but, but, <laughs> but, but Trudeau said, you know, we, you know, we fought wars with you. We've helped you. We've done this, that, and then we get this kind of treatment from you. Yeah, it was almost a huge sigh. It was like his pause was like had weight to it. It was it was that kind of a pause. You know, I mean, uh, it, it, it it the this trade war that Trump has created is going to manifest itself in some pretty expensive things in your life. I mean, the cost of cars are going to go up twenty five percent. A beer, the beer cans are going to go up by 25%. And the stuff that, what's even worse are the people who are going to be hurt here who are used to trading with those countries who aren't going to be able to any longer because mm -hmm. a tariff has been put on their crops and things like that. What about all the farmers that supported Trump? Are they going to get screwed? Uh, they, I saw one today who said he voted for Trump and now he feels like he's getting screwed. Yeah. That's that's the thing. I know a lot of the farmers out there that, that, that have supported the guy, and, and they're all going to get screwed. Yeah, that's because they're deplorables. Okay. So, Phil, I need to say to you, thank you so much for being my punching bag for these past couple of years. <laughs> However, everybody on this panel should know, I don't think any of you are stupid. When I say the word stupid, I am talking about those horrific gun-toting fake blondes that you see at Trump rallies. Somebody who has drunk all of the Kool-Aid. She said blonde, because not when white. You, when you listen to Phil and Patrick, well, Patrick always, but when you listen to Phil these past couple of months, Phil even comes on and says, yeah, I, I wouldn't have done that. Or, you know, I don't agree with that. Well, you that. only hear that occasionally, but you do hear it, and then, of course, you, you start get, I start getting a heart attack. I get pains, chest pains <laughs> when that happens. Hey, I'm I'm getting my heart checked out on the seventh. You're getting your heart what? Uh, I'm going in. I'm uh, seeing a cardiologist on the seventh. Ah, uh, yes. Why have you been so having heart problems? I just want to say, Phil, you've been wonderful as a punching bag. Thank you for that. But I don't want any of you guys on this panel or anybody who's called up because these people don't have balls to call up and and talk to me about this. The people who are just drinking this up are the ones that are flaming idiots. And it's really going to hurt, just like Alex said. And we won't, And here's the deal. We can't come and get you. We can't help you. We're not in charge of anything. 
We've got no pull in this government. Well, I, so I, when this I, all falls on you. You know, I, I, there's, there's a part of me that when I saw this guy on TV tonight who said he voted for Trump and he's a farmer and now he's going to be really hurt by these trade sanctions, I, I, there was a part of me that went, well, fuck you, you voted for him. But the other, there's another part of me who went, I'm sorry you, you, know, you ate you. You ate the you ate the food he was serving, but uh, it's it's terrible, and I feel sorry for you. Yes, Jason. I think Brian might have been first. I remember. Uh, Brian. Sleep. Oh yeah, uh, you're on your side, so I can't tell. The hand isn't up. The hand yeah. is sideways. Yeah. 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 Anyway, uh, and you can hear me, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You were talking. Renee was just talking about those uh, people who have no balls to call in here and. Um, any of you ever hear of a guy named uh, uh, Jeffrey Silas? No. no. Nope. Apparently, he's been trolling on Facebook, and uh, yeah, he's just some comes off as one of those insincere uh, uh, salesman, uh, kooky Christian types. And I don't know if uh, Renee or anyone else has been paying attention to the bit of tete a tete exchange that he and I had. Uh, a few days ago, uh, late last week. What, what's his name? And I think what, that, what's his name? Jeffrey Silas, spelled just like uh, Jeffrey. He's not like panel, on, he's uh, not like on my chat or anything like that, yeah. is he? No. Okay. S i l a s is how you spell his last name. But yeah. also, uh, uh, your your wife Alex thought it was cute that I had, and so did Phil. For a matter as a matter of fact, when I had that picture of the middle finger with the penis instead of a instead of a uh, <laughs> middle finger. Yeah. Uh, regarding Trump's commemorative coin for the whole yes. North Korea. Yeah. Somebody reported me on that, and I'm third. I'm banned for 30 days from Facebook on account of it. Luckily, I have another profile that I use as a backup. But some uh, fucktarded, liver dick, spineless, jelly spine cocksucker uh, from probably some right wing snowflake. Uh, uh, so well, you will be happy to know. That among younger people now, sure. Facebook is no him. is no longer popular. Good. The, yeah, they kicked me off. The they, they're going to rename Facebook MySpace. Well, what, it, <laughs> MyFace. Well, I said I said uh, I said on my news show today that you know in a few years you're going to look upon Facebook like you look upon MySpace right now. Yeah, you you shouldn't because I thought MySpace was better. The only reason why it went down was because. You know, it wasn't as trendy as uh, Facebook. Well, was Rupert, Murdoch, M Rupert Murdoch's company bought it. Fuck. And when they bought that it, too. they didn't know what to do with it. They didn't understand exactly. the culture that created it. And so that's where they fell apart. So that's where uh, Facebook came in and jumped into the fray and really did essentially what MySpace was trying to do but knew how to do it. Uh, but, uh, you know... Um, uh, I know somebody There's who I, I know somebody who's in the in the business business and in the finance business who says in, in the most uh, don't buy stock in Facebook is what he says because yeah, right. Facebook There's, Facebook's going to have a Facebook real falling shorted. out shorted yeah. Tumblr shorted. and Twitter you can post porn on both of those platforms. But yeah. Tumblr especially. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, I, I find, for instance, I've started doing this on, on YouTube, uh, mainly because I found that it was just harder to put stuff on on Facebook, and the reliability well, of Facebook wasn't as good. I have a friend that got banned Would for you, oh, Jason has his hand up. Oh. I, have you heard that Facebook's coming out with a new uh, video profile thing? Yeah, don't use it. What's this? Uh, I... Oh, Facebook's coming out with some new video thing. I, you know, you know Johnny White Trash. He, uh, he was talking about, you know, he was, might be going back to Facebook and doing stuff on there live because it's supposed to be coming back and being really good. So uh, actually, so Alex, we, let's have this conversation a little bit here. I believe that Facebook wasn't going to make the jump to AI anyway, so I'm not that don't give real rat's ass about Facebook. And what they did to us, that kind of fucked it over. But I think YouTube is better structured to be something that we will continue to use in the next 20 or 30 I, years. I, 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 yeah, I think yeah. that YouTube uh, is a better tool. I've never, in all the time that I, I think once maybe, in all the time I've been using YouTube now, which has to be three or four months, I have never had it go down on me. 
where well, it, you had it, better where, numbers on Facebook. Where, no, I had better numbers on Facebook, but it used to go down Patrick. all the time. That's one of the reasons the numbers were higher was because people would then sign back in. You know, it was a more unreliable feed. Uh, I still, and, and I, I, I can't you know, subscribe to your YouTube because you I don't have a YouTube account, and I'm not going to make one. No, you don't need you don't need a YouTube account. Well, you, you just, I have to make one to subscribe to your channel. Uh, oh, to subscribe to the channel, and, but you don't have to and, subscribe to the yeah. channel to see the videos. No, you don't have to subscribe. If if people subscribe to your channel, it's important that they push the little bell because the bell, which is a new thing sends the notification that you're uh that there's a new video or you're live to me, uh, though, Phil, yeah, i'm hmm? uh i click on the bell for the young turks and uh jimmy door show and they get un unclicked every time i come back same goes for the subscribe so really? youtube has its own agenda i'm not too fond of, i'm i'm it was some, gal with a gun. Some, some gal with a gun visited youtube's uh dining area and uh she had she said they had a, an agenda does she click on the bell uh yeah she <laughs> rang somebody's bell jason you got a google account was she this a, no yeah, oh, okay she did a bad you got a google account then you got a youtube account yeah yeah, yeah that's that's something you have to watch you, you, they what? own so many things why would you want a google account why would i why would i if There's you so, have a yeah. Google and YouTube are connected. Yeah, but you you can go to YouTube and you can you can uh, 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 what do you call it? You can you can search Alex Bennett. Yeah, and you can still and, and you it. you can watch the video. You don't have to be a member okay. of Google. To hey, do that. And that would be one thing I would tell you too when you make your commercials or whatever to say go to Bolo Bennett blah 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 mm -hmm. for YouTube. Yeah. You just, just tell them to type in Alex Bennett. It comes up. Well, no, but this, no, this is the way to go directly to the live page. Hey, directly to your live page, you can type in Alex Bennett, too. Yeah, okay. it works with Alex Bennett, too. Okay. Bolo, how the fuck do you spell Bolo? B-O-L-O. -O. Oh. I think Jason has more of an agenda against uh, YouTube than I do. <laughs> <laughs> he seems to be more cynical than I just, me. I just don't want to make another know. account. I already have a Facebook account. I completely account. agree. And I wouldn't have done it either if I hadn't already been swooped up into it. Because, but see, when you, he's, is, you have a YouTube account, that means yeah. you've got... But I, but I will say the quality of the picture, the quality of the service and everything uh, at YouTube vastly surpasses anything Facebook is offering. But th that's all I was saying is that, you know, that Johnny White Trash on one of the shows that I was listening to was saying that Facebook's supposed to be coming out with something that's supposed to rival, if not be better, than YouTube. I would sincerely, um, sincerely doubt it because YouTube is in the business of video. Who owns yeah, Instagram? You know? Is it YouTube? Is it uh, Facebook? It's Facebook, Facebook owns yeah. Instagram. Well, Instagram seems to be climbing in popularity. Uh, it mm -hmm. is the third most popular with kids yeah. snapchat and gaming yeah uh it's yeah. it's it's, it's, and, and, it's and this bad, and i don't so the thing is is you want to boycott facebook for being such a jackass but if you've got instagram and you're using it all the time you can't boycott facebook because it's a it's a their product well you know like if i were right now to play okay. some let's okay. say play a video that isn't uh is, I don't isn't, isn't cleared uh, it, YouTube will not cut me off. What they will do is when it runs, when it finally goes up on my on my site, it'll say uh, copyright infringements and uh, you can't use this for advertising purposes or whatever. Whereas if I did it on Facebook, they would literally cut my feed. I have a. I was telling you, I have a friend who uh, the guy who has five hundred fifty thousand YouTube. That's what he says. Yeah. Uh, he he uh, his his book came out and the cover had a picture of a woman uh with her nipple showing and uh it, it, he put it up on facebook and they banned them for 30 days yeah uh, so by the way when they banned you they won't let you back on unless you want to give them information and i refuse to give them a copy of my driver's license i refuse to give them a copy of any of my bills and they won't let me back on because i refuse to do that so and you're, that's kind of my point they didn't check shit for the people that were giving them all this crap goddamn money, but they want to check right. my okay. driver's okay. license. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, Give the Russian one. Patrick has the last word here. Yes, Patrick. Renee, is that why you haven't uh, friended me when I sent the request? Okay. Yeah. yeah.
that no hard. <laughs> yeah, I just not there anymore. Anybody got one more thing to say at all? Uh, Gosh, sure. be done. Good seeing you again, Jason. Great to see you, Vernon Nunn. Great to see you, Jeff. Kevin, have a nice weekend. Uh, of course, we, we'll, our good friend Brian Ludwig, who's been rather tame tonight, as it were. Oh, no motherfuck, fuck, fuck, No fuck, fuck, fuck cocksucker, motherfucker. Con- oh, a few of them. Uh, oh, Renee <laughs> Collins, thank you so much. <laughs> Patrick Blazik, and of course, the lovely and attractive Phil Meyer. It would be nice if all of you gave a big wave goodbye so they can... Uh, They can see your lovely faces. Good night, everybody. Hopefully, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. And and that's our citizen panel for tonight. I hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, I know that I did. A little little tiring at times, a little daunting. But uh, for the most part, it uh, worked out really just fine. Uh, uh, Next, uh, Jack and Amy are here with the intersection, followed at 1 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Daylight Time, by the wonderful folks at Connections. Uh, I will see you again uh, right after Damien Chaplin's exchange. He goes on at 9.30 Eastern Daylight Time on Tuesday. I'll see you Tuesday night at 10. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, uh, just remember, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye. Have a nice weekend, everybody.